Hello ladies and gentlemen, so there's uh, something interesting that I've really come to the new uh, update. So there's the new update which came from update 3.8 and where uh, RAD systems added a new uh, uh, component if you call it that way. So they added a calendar, so as you can see we have this calendar. I can be able to view my details here. So if I create an event, I can be able to see it. I can also get to be able to switch between uh, these. Then I can come back here and I can see this event updated here. As you can see, there's these tags. I can be able to switch between the agenda. I can be able to switch between different things. So you can come here and uh, get your data working just fine. So if you go back all the way out to date eight, where I have my data, so, all right, I won't keep scrolling, but you get the idea. So we have, we can have custom, we can have um, monthly intervals. We can have all this stuff. And when you click on something, you get to be able to create an event of that date. So if I click between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m., I get to create a, a starting time of this and an end time of, uh, a starting time of eight. So you get to decide when. And it also auto fills the date for you, so which is very interesting if you ask me. So if I go ahead and add an event here, and maybe select an end date and an end time, so I can select an end time, then come and upload an image. So image is really optional if you want to have an image, which will be nice if you are working on agendas. So for this case, let me just go with this guy. And let me just write something random here. So we have to wait for the image to fully upload so that we can actually see. And uh, if you ask me, this is something that is really interesting for our systems, considering that they have just added it. And as their uh, software grows, uh, it's pretty much going to be having a lot of interesting components. So. This is something that everybody has been asking for since PHPR Classic. So it's really now uh, very nice for this session now. So as you can see now we have our data here. I can be able to view my data, the one I just created. Don't worry about the image, we'll work on that. And another thing they added, they added a sort, uh, a sorting. So you can sort with end date. So as you can see, you can be able to sort with the end date. You can also sort with ID. So you get to decide what you want to sort with. So as you can see, it's actually doing everything. You can also leave that so that we get it uh, going back to normal. Now, so what we want to do now, I want to show you how we make this. So uh, also don't forget, we were looking at the agenda. So as you can see, now we have this agenda here, right? Now let's go ahead and uh, look at how we make this. So we make this by going back to page design so what i want to do is get rid of this uh, also get rid of this so that i show you how to make it from scratch again so what i did i created uh, some pages so uh if you come back here and go and take the component so this is a component that is handling the calendar so we want to maybe add it somewhere on top here so create a new section and let's drop it somewhere in there we want to make this column D12. We want to make it that. So we have this. So if you check here, you have the tables that it will need from you. So we have events, title field, start date, end time, uh, end date, end time, event image, icon, color. That's entirely up to you if you want that. So now uh, what we want to do is you want to come back to pages and go to the database and create this table. So I won't be talking about how to create a table. This should be easy by now. So you create a table with the details that uh, the component needs and you can come to start date. So instead uh, of it having to ask for the date and time, we only want the date and the end date. We also only want the date. All right. Uh, how I like to do is I like to change this from uh, vertical to vertical from horizontal to vertical so what do i mean by horizontal to vertical so if i come back here and uh, try another record you notice that these labels are looking awkwardly here so uh 
vertical means they are going to appear on top of this uh, bar on top there so yeah that's what we want to get right so let me just drag that all right so let's go back to our software so now we need to go to our list page where we are working on the design so here we have it so we go to the event title we want to select the name we want the name of that event we want to start the date time so remember these are the data the data fields that are you created in the database start time also uh, we want to uh, select an end date we also want to select an end time and we want to select the field that is going to be handling our image all right so we have that now the event icon field you can if you have these fields you can select them but it's not really necessary all right now we definitely have what we want so let's just publish this application and as it's generating let me go back to uh, my tables if you remember uh, how we are doing it when you click on view page for this it's not going to show you the image here instead it's going to show you a link to the image so the reason why it's taking too long is because it's, it's still generating so the files are not yet being generated all right so we are back so you notice that we're getting a link instead of an actual image whenever we click on an event so you want to fix that so let's see so yeah there we go so we have our data coming up here and if we check the image is coming as a link so we want to fix that we want to go back to our schedule and you want to go to the view page and under the image you want to change the display type from plain text to image so this is going to make sure that you get your data as an image instead of an actual link so let's wait for the publish and let's see what we get so we should get an image looking uh, just fine all right so here is our image but don't not don't worry so remember this uh, channel we are also working on how to do the ui so this is just a basic ui we will work on how to style it look nice so yeah now if you notice here we have this data now uh, what i had earlier we didn't we only here we only have three filter uh things so we want to add more so maybe we want to filter uh, with uh, more stuff so as you can see here we have this now if i click on this i'm going to get a model popping up all right let's fix that so we want to when we click on it we get a drawer opening on the side so we go back to our component go back to calendar and we want to go to where we have this now show event page type we want to change this from a dialog to drawer you can select the page sorry you can select the page and see how it looks for you but a page just basically means you are going to navigate to a different page so for our situation you only want to display this data uh, on the side of the screen so let us see how we have it looking like now all right so if i click on this now you'll see that it appears on the right side of the screen now that is okay now we want whenever we click on this and we want to add we also want it to open as a drawer so you go back go to page components go to your calendar and you need to switch add a event page type also make it a drawer and you want to publish this now when we have it published you will also have the option to add your records right from the right side of the screen there you go so now you can add it from the right side of the screen now the next thing you need to do is to add more filter components in here so we want to go back to our page and go back to our calendar and you can uh, look at the view options here so you click on the view options you have all these options the day three day four day all this you can get the agenda here day agenda three day agenda you can get monthly interval custom interval month agenda all right you can have that now whenever you publish this we expect to be seeing some data so let's go back to our app and let's see what we get now you know, check the progress it's generated so whenever we click on this we have this working like this but now we want to check the agenda so now you come back here and we have all these very nice looking agendas so you can just click on the agenda and check your agendas so there you go you can view your agenda like that you get all this stuff looking just fine 
right then we have another option which is called min mode so you can just come here and look to where we have the custom interval you can always set that uh, hide calendar header you can also set that to true or false and the min mode you can set this to true and see how it looks like all right so let's go back and uh let's wait for the generations all right all right so let's see okay so there we go we have our min mode looking just fine that will be up to you so whenever you click on this you get to add a record so yeah now uh, let's go back and look at the new component that has been added which is a sort field so we have the sort field sort by you can always pick this up and put it somewhere up there so what i like to do is i want to create a new column and i want to put this column on top so that i can have this uh, fitting in a column d4 and you don't really need to do a lot of things because everything is just checked so you just click ok unless you need to add a label or a wrapper class or a checkbox type so i can always set this to radio and come back here if i go back you will be having a new component on top here which will be allowing us to do some filtering all right so let's see what we have so there we go we can now sort by name sort by whatever you want uh start it uh that time you have this working just fine so guys that is generally uh everything that has been added in the new update so that will be uh very nice for you to check out now if you need to check how the code is working you just need to go to where you have your project so for my case is php at view projects now this is a view project this is my app go to frontend you want to go to source and you want to go to pages and the page that i'm working on is this schedule page now i just need to view the list page you can just pick this and drag and drop it to your favorite code editor and if you check this you will notice that this is how the calendar is working so these are all the available components that you need to work uh, with now if you go back to all this stuff you see how we are importing the calendar and uh, you can actually get to see how the code is working right about in here so that will be generally it so that will be it for this video guys and i hope to see you in the next one if you like the content remember to leave a like and also if you need uh, any assistance make a comment on the bottom there i'll reply to your comments and don't forget to subscribe for more videos so that will be it see you in the next one